Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Brotato. Uh, yeah, we. I know we already tried Brotato, but I, actually, I just like want to play more of this game because it's really good. I like this game a lot. Um, this is not the demo. This is the game. It's, it's out. It's um, well, it's out in early access. Um, but you could have fooled me, honestly, because this game it feels really complete. There's, um, there's maybe a few things, uh, that I would offer criticism to, but, uh, we'll get to that. Um, mostly, uh, my, my impressions are very, very positive. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna try the mage, and, uh, we'll do, um, we'll do lightning shiv. So let me talk about what is different from this than the, the demo. Um, obviously the main difference is that it has much more features, and it's actually a lot longer, um, when I say it's a lot longer, the demo was uh, basically 10 waves and then you were done. Um, this game, there's 20 waves and the 20th wave has a boss. So, and apparently there's quite a lot of variety in the bosses, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, let me just pick uh, an item. I'm gonna do a lot more talking than um, maybe about the game before I dig into uh, like how this game functions because I think probably you are familiar with this game But uh, if you're not don't worry. I am gonna run through it um, You know like if you're familiar with Brotator or not, let's talk about first of all um, You know what <laughs> I guess what it is I mean, it's obviously another arena survival like but I would not say it's just another arena survival like I think that if I was to really pick one uh, one game outside of Vampire Survivors that I would recommend um, in the arena survival like this would probably be it. I mean there have been um, there have been games in the genre that I have really enjoyed but um, I really think that um, Brotato just kind of nails it perfectly. Um, it's it's not like it's not perfect yet but I know I know like I have a lot of faith that the dev is going to gonna absolutely stick the landing it's it's like already so close to being one of my favorite games ever um because for a few reasons it's it's got a lot of depth if you want it um it's also just a nice kind of casual experience if you you know don't want to put too much thought into it like it's it's the perfect marriage of um you know kind of a casual and complex experience and that's a really difficult thing to nail um, all right, one, two is perfect. We also want lightning shiv. Um, so, you know, like there's a, like, it's hard, hard to really kind of go through it all, but you might notice, I mean, there's a lot of information going on and yeah, you can absolutely look at it and you can, you know, kind of do the math and puzzle out what exactly the perfect build is. And maybe you'll have a much, much better chance of, um, surviving in that instance, but you know what? Uh, my favorite way of playing this game and why I like this game so much is um, You know you pick a character that says well it does really well with elemental damage and then you basically take every we weapon that does Elemental damage and don't worry too much about like the effects of those weapons as much as um, Do are they building upon your? your your synergies uh, on, on your on top are they stacking your main effects hitting an enemy removes 10 percent of their speed max 30 percent this is actually a really good item i'm going to take that i'm also going to take this damage i always almost always go for damage unless there's there's something else um that would really do me better i they, they do a good job of like you know they'll offer you a difficult decision in the form of like well you like this base effect that is just kind of good or do you want to take a rare version of another maybe less uh, effective, you know, stat um, that is like just absurdly large? Um, so those those kind of choices are actually end up being difficult. So like instead of just taking more damage, you could take more damage in the form of like much more attack speed. Um, so like player agency is there. Every single part of this game. I feel like the decisions are, they feel good, you know? Like I never really feel like, oh, you know, this this sounds good, but it also just like completely um, downgrades the stat that like, uh, you know, I can't really afford to. 
Um, there definitely are decisions like that in the sense of like there are downsides to taking certain things. But you can kind of uh, min-max things in an interesting way in which you could like take something that um, degrades uh, a stat that you don't care about. So that way, in that way, that the replayability is there. Um, like here, here's a great example. Like um, I like you know I could these are these are good, but like you know I want to take the the rare item that gives me the most of life steal, even if life steal isn't necessarily the thing I want. Um, you know the the thing that is building on to our our strategy. Um, it's got drafting mechanics, obviously. It's also just got, um, you know, it's got built-in synergies. So, like, if I look at these, right now I have five elemental uh, weapons. And, yes, duplicates do stack, um, so, which is just, like, another nice little feature. It's like I don't have to kind of metagame um, in, in, a, <laughs> in a way that, uh, like, I have to have different weapons that synergize. They just kind of stack. You know, like, why, why have to, why, you know play play with the player like that um i'll take this boiling water less th da max damage but more elemental damage um you can re-roll things and lock things as well uh i f i try not to re-roll too much maybe like once uh per wave because the more you re-roll the the more money you're spending because it uh exponentially increases in price so if you can if you think you can survive the next round without necessarily um, buying another weapon or another thing, you know, or another item. Like, you know, it's it's not going to make that big of a difference. If you really think you can survive, then it's better not to spend your money on the rerolls necessarily. So things are going really well here. Things can also change in, like, a real whiplash sense in this game. Like, you could, you could be doing really well and think you're doing amazing, and then suddenly you're dead. And uh, that can that can feel bad for sure, but the game definitely has this sense of like, well, um, you know, it's it's kind of on you to to keep up with certain things, um, and it doesn't feel necessarily like unreasonable. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna want to check. So this is this is probably what we want. More another lightning shiv. Um, we'll do another. Re we'll do a reroll. More trees spawn, that could be good. Life, uh, HP regeneration, um, less life steal. Well, that's fine. Um, that could be good. I actually kind of just need more health right now. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. So um, you can combine weapons so that they increase. So like once I find another weapon to take, I'm gonna, I could combine these two uh, tier one wands and then combine those two, like into a tier two wand and then those two tier wands into a tier three so like there's that level of kind of like dopamine of like yo i got the i got the purple wand and things kind of stack in a really satisfying way and they do more damage and you know they synergize um you know there's there's certainly uh kind of faux strategies like you know how how to optimize like when do i buy a weapon when do i re-roll uh what, what item do i take um how do i how do i upgrade my weapons so like you know, all of that feels really good. Um, there's, you know, you could definitely try and optimize them. There's, there's definitely strategies and different ways to kind of work things out. But mostly, you can just kind of eyeball it and, and uh, you know, play at your own pace, and that works out pretty well as well. Um, I wanted to say I like, I really appreciate in this game how short waves are, like. You know, something that can really bother me in other arena survival likes is how often it kind of, uh, and unpredictably, it interrupts you. 8% chance to heal H1, 1 HP when picking up a material. That sounds pretty good. More melee damage. Sure. Sounds fine. More attack speed is probably good. Uh, crit chance is nice. We have another lightning shiv, so let's take that. I'm, I'm kind of... Like amazed that we haven't seen another elemental damage uh, weapon. Well, here's a tier two wand, but like still we're in this situation where it's not not really uh, adding to our build. I kind of want to take start, start taking engineering because the nice thing about the engineering is that they don't um, really count as an extra weapon. HP regeneration start waves with no, nah, I don't like that. 
extra range recovered from consumables could be sure we'll take that um ethereal is nice plus one range damage less range we are doing elemental damage this this is melee damage you can see the little sword that tells you how much like what kind of what damage you're doing um i do wish it would just kind of say oh i guess it says range melee so it does and then that's but that's ranged so yeah there's a lot of information and i i assumed the like the the flame just means that's like we're doing elemental damage there this is elemental damage that's elemental damage so you know maybe it's all just elemental damage um but like you know is this is a melee weapon so i i don't know maybe it could be a little bit more clear there um this is less armor i kind of really need that armor so i'm not gonna let's do one more reroll here we go a torch we could definitely do that so let's combine these two wands and then buy this torch and landmine spawns every 12 seconds so that's gonna add to our engineering engineering is a new stat i'm pretty sure i don't think that was in the demo um but it it's going to it, it does damage based on basically non weapon things things like turrets like they're they're almost like passive forms of like uh, AI damage of like you know turrets and landmines and traps and stuff that you can uh, you can get kind of like extra passive damage uh, and those are fun those are nice because you don't uh, they don't take the space of an extra weapon they just kind of do their own thing and work in their you know um, outside of your your own kind of weapon damage but they also work on their own stats. So it means you have to, you know, start dumping points into engineering, which is kind of the downside. Um, they're not gonna really function off of any any other kind of uh, uh, damage. Sorry, and I'm, I'm starting to get to the point where I have to actually concentrate on what's what's happening on the screen. Um, more more uh, elemental damage, this is great. Candle is like perfect for us. Uh, we could take more engineering. Engineering is a hard stat to, to get more of. More X, max HP, more uh, HP regeneration. This seems really good. Um, this one is also kind of good because it's going to give us more armor, but obviously we don't have the speed to kind of mitigate that. And our speed is actually really bad right now, so maybe I shouldn't go for that. Uh, I was going to talk a little bit about how the gems work, which I didn't really understand until, like, I streamed this game, which is, um, it, it's actually pretty clever because it doesn't penalize the player necessarily for missing gems. Like you, when you pick up these little materials or you, you don't pick up these materials, they don't disappear. Um, they basically get dumped into the next wave in the form of a times two. So you see those times twos, those are basically me, up, um, picking up the materials from the last game, from the last wave materials that I missed and got, um, shoved into my bag. So if I, once I, you know, if I pick up as many materials as I can, those are going to be accessible to me for upgrading my gear and, and, and buying certain things. Um, but yeah, whatever materials I miss, they get dumped into the next wave. And I think this is a really clever way of like, you know, I'm not gonna penalize you for missing materials, but I am, you're also not going to get those materials now um, for buying gear. And I think that's a really clever way of dealing with that. This is a really tough decision, but I, I really think I need to take armor. Uh, our survivability right now is not good. Um, in addition to like, you know, buying items, buying weapons, um, you also like level up. So those are the the, the kind of in-betweens I'm, I'm getting of like, oh, what kind of stat do you want to upgrade? Gain 35% more materials from recycling items. That's an interesting one, but I don't think I want to take that more xp gain could be kind of nice i guess but obviously it's not good enough um it's plus six armor while standing still this is an these are interesting ones that i haven't really dealt with or, or or tried because i don't like the idea of like all of our benefits being stacked onto standing still because if it goes badly it's going to go really badly um I, you can see I'm spending more now on re-rolling a little bit because I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit uh, underpowered. But, you know, we are getting a bit a, a few turrets and mines and stuff. Uh, we got an extra mine item um, from picking up those boxes will give you an extra item that you can either choose to take or to uh, recycle if they don't work for your build. 
which is another like nice little you know uh, form of player agency which I can really appreciate. There's other really nice little synergies that you can get from the items like you know helps to help spread fire, um, help chain uh, like you know some of these weapons are like basically chain uh, attacking multiple enemies you could get items that help uh, kind of make that go further. Um, critical hit chance is a good way of kind of stacking onto those chain things because w ten, um, generally if a weapon does damage to many enemies it's not going to do as much damage so you want to try and like upgrade that as much as possible I might die here oh that was really close I think if I hadn't taken that armor I probably would have died there this is gonna rob our HP steal but extra XP gain is actually really nice um, then we could get that HP regeneration back, but let's take some more, some more damage. Unarmed support. You might hear my cat. Sorry about that. Or, or you're welcome, you know, regard, uh, uh, whichever one works for you. Let's, uh, I want this lightning shiv, so we're going to combine these two and then take this one. I'm amazed I haven't been seeing, um, very many elemental damage types. We could take this turret that works well for us. I, I've seemed to kind of really double down on, on engineering. Um, let's do one more reroll. Max HP, max damage, armor, spread. Oh, sorry, speed. This seems like a good item. So we'll take that and then we'll we'll call it there. So we're in uh, the post tan wave part of the game. This is where things start to get really spicy. And if you don't, uh, if you don't have the damage, you can pretty much peter out around this point. And I do feel this run is uh, maybe petering out a little bit. Um, you can recover you if you can kind of get your damage curve up a bit, but um, it, it is kind of difficult to recover if you're if you don't have the the right kind of weapon synergies. How do you get those weapon synergies? Well, you probably play more smartly than me. Um, indicated by the fact that I use words like smartly. So, um, at least I'm not dead though, so I can be grateful for that. I did get to the last boss, um, or the boss, exactly once, and that felt pretty good, and then I died, and that felt pretty bad. <laughs> So what do we got? Attack speed. This is our level up. I could re-roll the level up. Wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. I'm a little bit, um, I, I, I tend to try and resist leveling or uh, uh, re-rolling anything if I can help it. Extra armor and dodge. Dodge is interesting. Dodge is basically you have a chance of not taking any damage. Uh, and then armor is you're going to take less damage. So dodge is like a very risk based on uh, risk based on like taking less damage if you can help it. Um, range damage, our range and melee damage are really bad. So this is like completely worthless to us. Um, and this is really weird. Start the next wave with one HP. So I guess if we if we had the the regeneration working for us, then this would not be too bad. Yeah, let's take a risk. Why not? Um, and then we can, that'll mitigate this, except I don't really want dodge, I only want the armor. Um, this isn't bad, this'll short change our range though. I don't really have much in the way of crit chance, so I don't care too much about crit chance, so let's go ahead and take that. I don't really want to short change our speed, we're already pretty slow. More max HP would be good though. Max pickup range would be nice. Oh, this is a taser, level two taser. Uh, that would be really good. Plus 25% attack speed while standing still. No, uh, I don't think so. Um, what, to, we, since we, we don't really, we can't combine our stuff in a way to make this work. Slows enemies in a radius around the projectile. Oh, that's interesting, I didn't actually even know this. So let's uh, recycle this lightning shiv in favor of getting this elemental. And then I'm gonna get this alien tongue and that'll be good. And that might actually make the difference for us to turn our curve around a little bit. And I did manage to recover my HP um, from that one pickup I took. 
It's a good thing I read it. I generally don't do a lot of reading when it comes to these games, and then I end up dying because I didn't understand. I didn't. I didn't really realize what uh, what I was doing. Things are going pretty well. You can you you can generally tell that your run is going well if you can if you're killing things with one hit. Um, I am leading things into the mines, and the mines are doing a nice chunk of damage. So we have a good kind of sense of environmental, like, survivability here. I don't like how close some of these enemies are getting to us before they die, though. Oh god. Oh god. We didn't get, honestly, enough, like, a lot of materials there. Short change our max HP for more armor? No, I'm gonna recycle that. Extra damage, less attack speed. Sure, I mean, it is actually worth it, I think. I don't know, maybe it's not worth it. That one seems like a trick. Uh, more engineering sounds good. Even more engineering sounds really good. Spawn a little guy that slowly shoots 10 piercing lightning projectiles around him for 34 engineering each. That's really good, we'll lock that for our next round. Um, it sucks that this elemental is a tier one. So I'm gonna re-roll once. Ooh, okay, this is perfect. Flaming Brass Knuckles, that's a good elemental for maybe the next round. I could probably, actually I can afford it now, so why don't we go ahead and, um, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this taser, I think, well, in favor of a tier two Flaming Brass Knuckle. Um, this little frog seems like a good idea as well. So let's lock that. And then we have an item for the next, a couple of items for the next round to buy. The game doesn't mess around. Like it is actually pretty difficult, but I don't find it to be as punishing as like say a, a 20 minute till dawn um, game. I, I, I like that game in spirit, but I don't like it in practice. I find it actually to be way more difficult than I really want these kind of games to be. Um, I, I like these games to be pretty much just like casual experiences. They can have difficulty for sure, and Brotato does. Um, but I don't feel so bad when I lose in it because it's just, you know, it, it's not a high investment from the player. I, if I was going to offer a criticism to Brotato, I actually think right now it's maybe a bit too long. I liked how short the demo was, like, you know, 10, 10 waves and you're good. Um, so. I, I feel like, you know, 20 waves and a boss, it starts to feel a little bit grindy. Oh, I almost died there. That was really close to death. Burning activates faster, less range. Sure, let's take that. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take more... kind of want to take more speed. But I think that armor will end up saving us. And we'll take more damage. So I'm going to buy this Tyler, and I'm going to buy this little frog. Um, would love to take the wrench because that'll increase our, that'll actually build on our elemental, but I don't think it, you know, we actually already spent all our money, so. So let's see what Tyler does. We'll see. So these guys seem to ex um, kind of explode into little enemies that uh, I think do range damage. So we can stay near Tyler. Tyler's going to do a little bit of elemental damage and he's doing a really good job actually oh not sorry not uh, elemental engineering damage good to kill these trees the trees will offer you items and uh extra materials oh that was bad but i'm pretty sure our armor uh made us take a lot less damage there than than necessary Speed is a really good thing to have, but I think that I am, I'm, I'm kind of comfortable with this level of speed. Because if you're too fast, you could very easily just like run into enemies as easily as like running around um, stuff. Oh, let me try and get some, no, that was, we're not doing great for like how, how many enemies we're killing. Start, no, that's, let's recycle that. That's not great. More armor. No, less speed. I don't think I can really afford to take this. Uh, yeah, I, I can't really do that. We'll take this extra damage for less attack speed, though. That sounds pretty good. Precise, heavy, explosive gun, uh, more range damage. No, nah, I, I don't, can't really do it. Uh, we have another torch here. We can actually take that. 
more trees. That sounds pretty good. The game's got a good sense of humor. Um, a lot of power-ups have like little kind of in-jokes and references, uh, a lot of which I don't actually know. Um, someone was saying in my chat is like, oh, I think there's like an ogre battle reference um, to from from one of the items. So like, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. Is like it's an amalgamation of a lot, maybe a lot of pop culture and. Um, honestly, just the look of the game really gives me some like Newgrounds vibes uh, and like you know old Flash web game vibes that I, I, I really enjoy. Um, it's got this kind of very intentionally primitive style that I really appreciate. Oh, okay, things are getting really dangerous now. We're at wave 15, so we're starting to see the the late stages of this game and how dangerous it can get. I need to get some of that health. Okay. I, I don't know what it cost me. Wow, I'm really not collecting a lot of materials. This is actually kind of hurting us. I'm wondering if it was because I had a lot of harvesting. You earn 11 materials and XP at the end of a wave. Increases by... Oh, I see. Okay. So that just gives us stuff at the end. So maybe not worth it. We're definitely going to get some engineering there. Blade heavy item elemental damage. Less engineering. Oh, that sucks. We'll take that, and I'll probably take this fuel tank next turn. Um, I'm not going to take Barricade. I think I'm probably going to lose this run, if I'm being honest. I, I, I don't have a lot of faith that uh, I've managed to, to curve upward um, enough to, to win. And the last boss is really difficult. Even if you have a really good run, it's just really difficult. A lot of dodging and a lot of... you just have to be on point. Um, I think probably just having like a, having a lot of armor and um, HP regeneration so that when you eventually make a bad dodge you will recover a bit better would probably be a good thing to have for the last boss. Oh. I'm trying to guide them into Tyler. Tyler's doing a good job. He's He's good people, you know, like he's he's really he's pulling his weight unlike me, honestly I don't know what some of these enemies do. I kind of wish we could we had a, a Monstrology or like a, a little thing that we could read about what some of the enemies do. Okay. I did collect quite a lot of materials there That was good. Um, we'll take damage. Ooh, yes another taser almost feel like it would be worth um... Oh, yeah, this was the ogre battle. I think this was ogre battle um, reference? Piercing damage can't go above base damage. Um, can't go above base damage. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I think that that would be worth taking. I kind of want to, like, sell one of our weapons here in favor of another taser, because I think that that would be better. This does 60, 68 times 3 versus 31. That's just, like, so much better. And then apparently this does one damage but it deals 70 times four burning damage so i kind of do like that um i'm not sure i'm not sure this also yeah this is extra support support does what exactly extra harvesting uh, that's not really that important um still i'm gonna i'm gonna sell this wand i think it would be better to have two tier threes rather than uh you know more variety so we'll take that, and I won't reroll. Oh, this has uh, environmental damage. Shoot, I should have bought that. All right, well, we'll wait. We'll, we'll, we'll lock that for next turn. Man, Tyler, the, I love Tyler, but Tyler is not spawning in good places right now. Also, I think those little kind of tumory looking enemies are probably buffing enemies, so maybe they're worth prioritizing. All right, things are things are going well now. I think I'm, I'm I may have may have actually recovered our damage curve a little bit because I definitely feel like I'm killing enemies at a good rate. All right, you just gotta you really gotta be careful not to step at like where the enemies are about to spawn. That's the surefire way of taking lots of damage that you shouldn't and shouldn't be taking. Ooh, I need some of that health back. Okay. I'm not really happy with how low our health is right now. 
Yeah, that pickup range is actually really nice. And we'll take that pumpkin as well, yeah. Extra engineering is great. 40 harvesting, you take one damage per second. No, no, that's awful. Uh, we'll take the fuel tank though. Let's reroll like once. Extra max HP plus 5% enemy speed. This is actually fine for us because we can slow down that enemy speed. Um, we'll do one reroll. Oh, this would be really nice. Your max HP is capped at your current. This ha The handcuffs are actually pretty good, um, but they definitely um, hamstring you a little bit. I can't, uh, I can't justify taking the lightning shiv. It doesn't, it doesn't combine. I do kind of wish you could buy weapons and have like maybe an extra inventory that, um, for combining stuff. Um, cause like you, you can't, you can't really justify this, right? Like it doesn't work. Um, I don't know. The handcuffs are tempting, but I don't think they're worth it. So we're just going to go ahead and, uh, go with that. I do, I was saying it on uh, stream, I really appreciate that items and stuff kind of change the appearance of your character. That's always a nice touch, I think, in, in games. I think that, uh, you know, it, it adds quite a lot to something like, you know, say Binding of Isaac, where like all of your, all of the items you're taking, like changes how your character looks and they progressively look more and more messed up. Um, I think it's a, it's a really nice touch that adds quite a bit. And you get to compare notes that, you know, with maybe your friends like, oh, Look how messed up my character ended up near the end of the game. This was a one run. Look at look at them. They're they're like a walking tumor basically. Oof! Almost took damage there, but I didn't. I'm doing some. I gotta say some really nice dodges. I have to if take any credit at all. Oh god! I do appreciate um, the readability of both the enemies and the the bullets really helps um less armor more harvesting recycle that more harvesting not recycle that oh extra elemental damage versus plus 15 percent attack speed that's really difficult let's take the attack speed oh, the armor though uh i feel like i need to take the armor oh, this torch why are you offering me tier one items at this point in the game um, let's take the alien baby. Oh, there we go. Tier 3 torch. That's a nice item. Um, what could we trade? I mean, this flaming knuckles are really good. 89 times 5 burning damage. Um, it, actually, the torch 3 is pretty much the same as the flaming brass knuckles, so that's interesting. Still, I think I'm going to give up the flaming brass knuckles because if I could possibly get a tier two torch, that means I could could, could combine it with a tier three torch. Um, so we'll try that. Extra max HP. This is a really good item, actually. I'll get that. Oh, another Tyler. Oh, that would be great, actually. I, I love games that make me say truly absurd things. I could get another Tyler. Yes. Tyler so good. OP weapon. Okay. Oh. All right. Things are not looking too good for us right now. Uh, I did just get an achievement. Oh God. Oh God. It's not good. It's not good right now. Oh, we don't have the damage output. I, I need to be killing these guys way faster than we are. I'm not even killing, like, basic enemies with one hit. Those tumor enemies are really hard to get at right now, and they're buffing everything. Okay, well, I got a lot of material there, actually. Um, more harvesting. Yes, please. Well, we're gonna get, um, Tyler. <gasps> oh, Flaming Brass Knuckles Tier 3? Heck yeah, bud. I'll take that. And we'll take Tyler. And I'm going to lock Alien Magic again because that'll be more HP. This is um, not worth taking. But uh, we'll, we'll reroll once. Taser. Taser Mark 3. That's amazing. Amazing for us. 
Um, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's continue. Oh. I don't think I recognize this bag. Oh, this is wave 20. I, I didn't rec- This is a- This is a boss I've never seen before. This one is- Feels considerably easier than the one I fought a little bit. Of course, he's gonna get harder. They do get really hard. Oh, God. It's making me stand still, and I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'm alive right now, and I'm very grateful for that. I'm alive. You might hear my cat in the background, like, insisting on my death, but uh, I, I refuse, child. So he's changed the game up a little bit. I really appreciate how the bosses changed and, and morph. Like, you really gotta stay on your toes. Certainly knowing how the boss works is gonna help you, but you can you can actually adapt. Um, if, you're, if you're good, I can't believe I might actually win this. Don't speak too soon, of course, but we done it! We done it! Yo, on the let's try, we beat it. Heck yes. I can't believe I won on, on that run. It felt so... It felt like it was losing the entire time. Well, dang. All right. Well, that's Brotato. Um, what, what more can I say about Brotato? It's got so many mechanics and stuff that I really enjoy, and it does them all so well. It, you always feel like you have interesting choices to make. Um, the, the actual gameplay is super simplistic, but that doesn't make it feel like it's lacking in depth. It has a lot of depth, but, uh, you know, it's, it's in, it's kind of in the nooks and crannies, and, uh, I, I really like it. This is seriously, like, one of my one of my favorites in this genre for sure it's like maybe above vampire survivors in some ways um and you know outside of vampire survivors i would definitely recommend it it's like you know if you like that get this one there's a lot of them and they they are all pretty good this one is a cut above anyway if you enjoyed this uh video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy